my gosh. So Maurice, like, what do you do when you're not training this dog? Like, Think what's your life? Because what... all we know about is you and Milo in the house. That's pretty much my life. Like, I am so boring. I don't even go out anymore. I'm just like, save all my money, go on vacation, and then just sit in the house. And, you know, that's that's really my life. I think that there is like a misconception, which a lot of people are scared to teach their pets to talk, that you think it's like all day, every day, we're just going back and forth. And it's like, he has talkative periods where it'll be like, either day, I'm pulling a whole bunch of videos, or even like a week. But like the past, like two weeks, I haven't pulled anything. It'll be normal stuff like asking for a snack or to go out, but nothing like, you know, extreme or we're arguing or something like all the time. So there's a good like balance. You're not going to have like all day, every day, you know, mayhem. Sir, you have two keyboards and three guitars behind you. <laughs> oh, like, who do you think you're fooling? Like, this man yeah, just sat like, here in my face and was like, yeah, I don't do much. What I do really you don't. do? Like, this is me. Like, I'll come down here and like do that. He hasn't even heard me play yet. So like, you know, you get like a puppy and you're just like overwhelmed with life. So Wait, would, are like, you a he... musician? Uh, yes. Well, I sing, yeah, and play a couple instruments. Like, AJ, you see him over here just like, yeah, I play a couple instruments. D for, we got Prince over here with a whole dog that talks. Yeah. Let me but find out. I feel like out. on surface level, I'm really, I'm really in the house. Like, I just go on I'm vacation. I'm like, is this man independently wealthy? I'm like, I'm just like, no, what? No, <laughs> no, absolutely Because not. Alexis definitely was like, I just bought 50 acres of land for my dog. Oh I my, like, her house is ridiculous. What? I love the videos. Not even just the talking videos, but now just the videos of them. And it's just like them and what they the discovered wilderness. on the land and stuff. I'm like, this <laughs> is like National Geographic with dogs. Like, I'm so here for it. And their dynamic is good. And I told her, like, I commented on the video. I'm like, I might have to block you because you keep making me want to get a sibling for Milo. And I don't really have the bandwidth for that. But they're just so cute. I mean, I've, I ended up doing a blurb for her book. I was very honored. I was very mm. honored to do a blurb for her book. Um, where do you feel like this, do you want this to go any further than just doing like videos on Instagram? Like, do you see yourself doing a book for Milo? I feel like Milo needs a children's book, but that's just me. No one asked. No one asked. Yeah, no one asked. I think so too. It's just like this really just happened like out of nowhere because we had our account and for the first like nine months, nothing happened. And then like, Last year, January, in a month, we got 100,000 followers. And what then happened? just recently, it was it just, it just went. Like, the algorithm no, was just like... there had to be something. Like, was there a Dodo <laughs> feature? <laughs> like No, no feature. No, and then we had one video where it was, like, him talking about, like, some juice or something. That kind of, like, started to get some traction. I had, like, 400,000 views. And then I'm telling you, literally overnight, it was just, like, a thousand something, like, new followers every single day for, like, the whole month of January. And it's just, like, multi... I, I don't know. You it must was have been on Black People point, Pets. <laughs> no, it wasn't even that. People tag them all the time. And I don't know what's going on with their Instagram, but like they don't update much anymore. But I don't, I'm telling you, it literally just was just like, I don't know where. I will say TikTok happened faster than Instagram. So I started with just our Instagram from like May of 2022 until like October. And then I started TikTok in October, but I just posted all the Instagram videos like twice a day because TikTok gives you like a little boost when you set it up your account and that kind of moved fast. But no, Instagram was really just like blood, sweat and tears, like figuring out this <laughs> algorithm. It's like a plant, like water it, but don't water it too much. <laughs> like the engagement and stuff. It was pretty. And then people are like, why hasn't your account blown up? And I'm like, stop getting in my head. Like, I don't know. I can't control this. Like, but yeah, it really just overnight. And then even in this last year, we got 100,000 followers since January of this year. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Huh. Sometimes it's like a video will go viral and that'll happen and then there'll be like multiple videos. It'll be things, but I don't, I don't know. I don't understand it. So to answer your question, because all of this has happened and it's happened so fast, that I haven't really like gathered myself to be like, what else is next? Like, I just can't believe that we did this. So it's just like, what else is possible? So that's my question. What else is possible? Like with Milo? Like in the in the in the relationship that you have with Milo and in the talking dog world, like have there have you seen other like dogs that are doing things that you want to like get Milo to the level of or anything like that? One thing recent was I saw people teaching their dogs how to read like cards. So I taught them how to do that. Um, Wait, what? Such, Stop it. Yeah. Like no, I legit. saw it, but you just said it so cash as if that was regular. <laughs> So it seems to be regular now, though. Like, if you take your dog to PetSmart in those training classes, they'll teach them how to read. 
They like it's very simple the way you do it. It's kind of like the buttons narrate with tricks that they already know. So it'd be like roll over, roll over, roll over. It's uh, so much repetition. And right. then yeah, saw it and he did it. And that video did go viral like earlier this year. So it's like little things like that. But in terms of him, I mean, I don't know. I, it's like little tricks and new things. Like I taught him how to cross his paws recently. And like, he's so into that. He'll do that. Like, but his brain is so active that it's like, I have to just keep figuring out new things or like little tricks or something. Cause if not, he'll just start getting destructive and destructive in what well, way? I, like, he'll, like chew stuff, like rip stuff. Like, cause he's so smart that if he's not being engaged or challenged, he just will either like be very talkative on the buttons and just won't chill out. Like you can't just take him on a walk or a hike. Or let him run around, even sometimes at daycare. Like, he'll just come home and he still has, like, energy because he needs mental stimulation. So I'm like, he needed to talk. He needed to be challenged and he needed to learn that because his brain is just too much. (laughs) This is really making me feel like, okay, you know what my mom would tell me? That, like, people would be like, oh, you know, my child is just like yours. And she'd be like, oh, please. Like, in her head, she's like, you're not. So you talking? And I'm like, Jordy is like that. And I'm like, Amanda, do not do that. Like, Milo is his own person. (laughs) Like, do not compare your dog to this dog. Milo has achieved on such a level at this Mm. point. You cannot. Now, I feel like it is a certain kind of person that is able to have this type of dog and able mm-hmm. to teach this type of dog, you know, to able to teach a dog to talk. So in terms of you, like, do you, like what type of person are you that you feel like you were able to do this and continue to keep it up? I'm a very observant person. Like I'll notice like the littlest things. Like my friends always make fun of me because I pretty much have all their closets memorized because I just pay attention to details. I'm like, oh yeah, you should just wear the such and such and such and such. I'm like, I remember the first time you wore that. It'll just be little things that don't matter in life. But my brain is just so ridiculously moving all the time. So I notice little things like that. Or I will, because I've taught myself like instruments and things, I'm fine starting things and knowing that like the end is possible because I've done it so many times before. So I'm willing to start teaching him to read and not seeing any progress for two months. But I know if I keep it up, it's the same way with the buttons. Like I kept it up and eventually we'll get there. So I'm not like a give up person. My perfectionism or recovering perfectionism will say is an overload. So I think that all of that plays in on top of I'm such a homebody that it's really just him and me all day, unless he's at daycare. That's pretty much it. So all of it's kind of like the perfect storm of like, uh, so I think if you're like out the house and busy and stuff, you could still achieve it to a degree, but it's, it's, you know, it's more difficult if you don't have the time to sit here. I work from home. So we're always home. So that really encompasses this. And it's like Alexis as well. Alexis is at home. She worked from home. So you're able to like foster it deeply when you just are a homebody at home with your dog. Yeah, but I think you're brilliant. And I think that's part of this, which is, obvious because you said I taught myself to play several instruments and it's like when people say people look like their dog you talk about Milo with you know reverence for him being like gifted and needing stimulation and you just described yourself (laughs) like you know (laughs) you just you you know you're not a dog so you're not getting the zoomies in order to yeah (laughs) yeah but it's you know it really sounds like you use your um, need for simulation, like you fill it with like things that are actually of value, mm. right? Well, these people got questions, y'all. They got questions, so you can get your answers out in little bits. Come on over to our Patreon-only questions. You know what to do. Go to the Amandaverse or go to patreon.com, Amanda Seals, and uh, let's get into it. 